uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have lost another politician, making it two people in one day. First was Akere Dolu. Now we have lost Naba, who was the Speaker of the House of Rep from 1993 to two, uh, 1999 to 2003. He was the Speaker for the Fourth National Assembly. And we lost him after partly serious sickness. Today, uh, he was ever sick. They carry and go abroad. They treat him. Small time, they said, oh, well, he come back to Nigeria. The sickness starts again. The news reaching us now, according to Chinese television, is that he has lost his life. He lost his life in Abuja, and he's going to be buried, according to Islamic rights, today in Abuja. If you hear comments over this man's death, you go sorry for him. Nigerians are practically happy that politicians are dying. Let me show you the news, and I'll be right back. Former Speaker of the House of Representatives, Gali Umar Naba, Britain is last in the early hours of Wednesday in Abuja, according to family sources. Born on September 27, 1958, Naba, age 65, battled a prolonged illness before succumbing to it. Naba, a prominent figure in Nigerian politics, notably served as the Speaker of the House between 1999 and 2003. His health struggles had previously prompted his medical evacuation abroad for treatment, leading to an extended period away from Nigeria. However, he successfully recuperated and returned to his home country. Initially affiliated with the People's Democratic Party, Naba represented the Kano Municipal Federal Constituency, securing victory during the April 1999 general elections. The late Gali Naba funeral arrangements are said to adhere to Islamic rights, who plans for his interment in Abuja. This one way politicians just they die in there. Hope is not what I'm thinking. Because some people will still start to buy ram down. They wait for who go die next when they celebrate. How can we lose two politicians in two days? I mean, I wonder because I don't know whether I could alone yesterday or today. How can we lose two politicians back to back? Some people will still carry a go church, go to this prayer point, say, Father. The good work you have started, completed, but no, that's not what is happening. Um, these men are old enough. 65 is about the expected life expectancy, um, expectancy in Nigeria. 65, 70 to 80. Anybody with across 60, you don't suppose they plan a barrier. You understand because now closing time, now you do so. Now when you lose your life less than 60, now we say you died young. And for this man now, when the when he was the speaker of the house, a lot of sports were still small. We never to know what they happened. But what is it with politicians and abroad? They got their power, they're not gonna build better hospital for this country. When they seek small sickness, now they don't reach abroad. Oh, now the visit that abroad go save go save on their life. More we were there, more you were there, all of us will still die. So if you on our life, more than they destroy here. Believe me, say. Any COVID that we are put to you, you get passports, you get money, you get hope. So then we shall not go treat yourself. And you leave the people you swore an oath to guide and protect in Nigeria. You leave them to die to bad health care. Meanwhile, you they go take care of yourself abroad. These sickness and death will reach everybody last last. We are not celebrating that anybody died, though, but we just point out these things. Because they have the luxury to go and treat themselves abroad. Even for small head, which means they're not that wicked healthcare. Now they live for Nigeria here. So who good to die to bad healthcare? Anyway, now by his God, he was speaker of the fourth assembly. And uh, he has done his part. Although I don't think he did it well. Because if he had done it well, he would not leave his constituency to go and be treated abroad. We we we, we share our condolence with his family and we hope that they have strength enough to bear the loss. But God bless and help our politicians at this time.